today I'm going to just talk to you quickly about how I created this crochet blanket. This is, um, I think, a simple project for those people that are looking to start crocheting. They've never crocheted before and they want to make something good for, their, for themselves or they want to make it as a gift for someone. When I make my projects, I usually typically try to plan them out a little bit so that I can get the yarn when, they're on, when it's on sale. If, you, if it's not running a sale, then of course you can always download, um, especially at Michael's, a 40% off coupon, which will allow for you to get the, the yarn at a cheaper cost. Um, so for this project, I used three skeins, actually four skeins of brunette yarn, and I used a size 12 millimeter crochet hook. And that's what I used to create this project. And I say that it's simple, merely because you're going to use the same stitch through the whole project. Once you do your um, chain of 70 or whatever varying size chain that you want to use, um, then you're going to do a half double crochet pretty much through the whole um, length of the work of the project. So um, anyway, happy crocheting. I hope you enjoy it. And if, like I said before, if you have any questions, please feel free to leave them below. Um, and if you like the video, please be sure to like it. Um, and yeah, so happy crocheting and we'll talk soon. Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a blanket and how to start a blanket. This is a really quick and not, I wouldn't say quick, but it's a simple blanket. It uses one um, stitch, which is the half double crochet pretty much through the entire blanket. So let's just go ahead and get started. What you're going to need, of course, is your yarn. And then I'm, I'm using a um, crochet hook the size 12 millimeter and I can you can get these from Joanne's Fabric or Michael's or Hobby Lobby so anyway what I do is I start with my chain you're going to chain 70 so the way you do that you need to create a slip knot and there are so many tutorials on YouTube on how to do a slip knot but I'll just show you how I do mine um, I take the chain about 12 inches or so and then I'm going to wrap it around my finger one two times so basically there's two on the loop what then I do is I just kind of take the one that's closest to my thumb and I put it underneath the one that's on the top and then I just pull so that's how I do my slip knot and I'll just show you one more time you take your chain it's about 12 inches you're going to um, hold the tail in it's going to come down so the tail end is basically the one that's not attached to the yarn. You're going to hold that in one hand here. Kind of make like a little gun. Then you're going to wrap around twice. So one, two. You're going to take the one closest to your thumb and put it underneath the first loop. Okay, and there you have it. So then you would take your hook and you would put the slip knot on the hook. Now, you have your working yarn in one hand, and you'll have your tail on, tail in this way. So what you're going to do is you're going to chain 70. So to chain, basically all you're going to do is you're going to take your crochet in one hand, your crochet hook in one hand, your yarn in the other, and you're going to yarn over, and then you're going to pull through. Okay, let's try one more time. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. You're going to do that 70 times. So I'm going to go one more time so you can see. And the yarn over, I'm holding it and then I'm kind of making it. But basically all yarning over is, is you're just taking it, putting it around the hook, and then you're pulling it through. You're putting it around the hook, and then you're pulling it through. Putting it around the hook, and then you're pulling it through. So that's pretty much it. The main thing you want to do is make sure that you are not making this chain very tight. Consistent um, tension, but just not too tight. That's the main thing, just kind of working it over. So you're going over, through, over, through. And you're going to, you're going to do that. And that's going to be, the 70 is actually going to be the width of your blanket. And then you're going to go up, you're going to go up from there. So you have 
70 is going to be your length. So if this was my blanket, it would stop here. Um, and then I would go up to the length that I wanted. Now, mind you, you can always make this blanket as big or as small as you want. You just need to remember your chain, your initial chain that you're doing. That's going to be the width of your blanket. So keep on going, and then once you get your 70, then um, we'll, we'll move forward. So you've done your 70. You're going to then count two. You're going to chain two more. So you have one and two. Now, what that does is that's creating your first stitch. So you have two and then you're going to turn your work. And so the way that you turn your work is basically just flipping the work to the other side of the crochet needle. So we're working, initially we're working in this direction. We've done our two. Now we're simply going to just switch our work over to this section. And right now, so now that you've turned your work and you've already gone up two, you're going to have to work into your stitches. And that's why I told you to be very careful and not make it too tight. And I'm not sure if you can see this, but if you look you have your um, your stitch that's on the on the crochet needle you don't count that one you're going to actually go over three and then you're going to work into that so here's one if you can see it there's one here's two and then here's three so it's, this yarn is very chunky but when you're feeling it you can actually see it like you can actually feel it if you're working in this project along with me, you will be able to fill these holes. And that's what you're going to be working into. So what we're going to do is we're not counting the one that's on our yarn, on our um, crochet hook. You have one, two, and then in your third one, that's where you're going to start your next stitch. So what you're going to do is you're going to yarn over. Yarn over, like I said before, is just simply putting the yarn over the crochet hook. You count it over, one, two, and in that third one, you're going to put the whole crochet um, you're going to put the head of the crochet through that um, chain. I'm going to show you that one more time. Okay. So you have your yarn on your needle, on your crook. You're going to count over one, two, three. Okay. Yarn over, go into the front. So now if you look, I'm slowing this down enough. You have three on your hook. Yarn over one more time and pull all of them out just like that. Can you see that? I'm going to do it one more time for you, a couple more times. Yarn over. You're going to go to the hole directly next to that. So you can start filling these holes. You'll be able to fill this, these chains. You'll go in, pull it out like that. Yarn over. And pull all the way through. Okay, let's do it one more time. Yarn over, put it in the hole, pull all three. This is what you call a, du a double, half double crochet. Let's see if I can get this closer. Okay. Okay. So if you see, you've got a hole right there. You're going to yarn over, put your crochet hook through that hole, did you see that? Pull through. Let me do it one more time. I'm not sure if it came out of the camera's focus. Yarn over. Here's your hole. See that hole? Put the yarn through it. I'm going to go yarn over again. That. And pull all the way through. So your work is starting to grow. So I'm going to do it one more time. Let me see if I can't come this way. Yarn over. Find your hole. Do you see how that worked? And pull all of those through. Okay, one more time. Yarn over. See the hole? You, if you can see here, there's your hole. Put it through. This is already kind of naturally on the hook. This this piece right here. So all you're doing is just pulling that back over 
you're going to wrap it around and pull everything through just leaving that piece on the hook one more time there so did you see me we yarned over we're finding our next hole putting it through your next hole get it through see how that naturally does that it's just a natural um, you don't there's no extra work that you're doing remember find your hole your hole. I'm going to put it through the hole. And it looks kind of jumbly, but it's not. You have one, two, three, and that one is what's naturally in your hand. That is what you're pulling off like this. Okay, I'm going to try one more time. Yarn over. Put it through the hole like that. So you only have to in your hook, but this is the one that you put over. Like that. Okay. So you see how that's making? And this right here pretty much is your pattern for your blanket. It's really nice, really simple. It works up quite quickly if you work in um, if you're doing this while you're watching TV, you can probably have this project completed in a couple of weeks, if even that long, just depending on, on the time you want to invest to the project. But you're going to just kind of keep that same concept through the whole thing. So I'm going to let you go ahead and finish. So keep working, and then I'll show you what to do going forward. Getting close to the end of the um, chain, as you can see on this one here, we're coming towards the end. So what we're going to do, we're getting close to the end here. You're going to go ahead and see so you don't have much left here. You're going to go ahead and yarn over like you did before. Find that hole, pull it through, yarn over again, and pull all of them through. Okay. Now, if you can tell, you're done. That's it. There's nothing left for you to um, crochet. So what I do is I go ahead and chain two. So this is one, two. And then you're going to turn your work. So when you, like I said, did you see how I went one, two, and then I did one, two. There's my two stitches right there, my two there. And then I'm turning my work. So to turn your work is basically just flipping it over because now we're going to be working back this way okay so what we're going to do is we're going to yarn over and now you'll see you have a hole right here and a hole right here you'll never do a crochet in this first hole this first hole crochet is this chain two that we just did so there's no reason for us to put another um, stitch in this hole if you do that throughout your project your your um, your blanket will gradually increase and decrease because you've added an extra stitch to the row okay so you've already chained two you flipped your work you're going to yarn over you're not going to do it in the very first hole but you can clearly see the second hole there you're going to work into that second hole okay and pull through and you're going to do that same stitch work um, half double, double crochet through the entire third row. So you're going to yarn over and you're going to find your hole. And as you do this project, you'll see these holes are really, they're, get, they're the size of your crochet hook. So you'll be able to see them a lot easier. 
it's just that very first row. That's why I always say don't give up on your first row. It gets a little frustrating, but it gets so much easier as you start working your project. So that it's kind of hard to do this on camera. But anyway, so you go like this and you keep it moving. Yarn over, find the holes, and if you look, let me see if I can't point these out for you. There's a hole right there. Hole, 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 hole. Do you see how that is? Just be consistent. Just put it in the center of the two um, V stitches. This is kind of like a V if you look. I, I don't even know. This gets confusing when people start talking about V stitches and whatever. But this kind of looks like a V if you look at it. Do you see that? So you're basically putting the crochet hook through the center of the V. There's a V hook. There's a V hook goes in the middle. When you get to closer to the end, I'll come back and show you how to go up the third row. And it's the same as we did before, but I just want to make sure that you're getting the concept. So continue working and then we'll go, we'll um, meet back in a second. Okay, we're getting close to the end of our row. So I'm going to show you one more time how to move to the next row. So we have a stitch right here that we have to put one in. So we put our hook in there like so. Now remember we still have to add a stitch to this row. So we you have to remember this is what we put the stitch in just now. We have to grab one more off of the chain to make um, make sure the row is even. Now sometimes my camera I get off camera. So that was the stitch we just completed. Yarn over and we're going to put a stitch in this row. Now mind you, we're not going to do it here because we just we just put a stitch in that hole. We're going to come out here. And train up. And there you go. Do you see how equal even that looks? You see that? Don't mind this. I had to join my yarn so that's not what you're really looking at. Just kind of look and see how that's straight. That edge is straight and that's what you want. You're looking for straight edges. Okay. And that's kind of, see how that's really shaping up nicely. And you're just going to continue, you're going to continue this pattern all the way till you get to the length of the project that you want. Okay, I want to just show you how to finish off your blanket. Of course, this is not a complete blanket, but um, as discussed earlier, if you just continue to do the project all the way to the end of the length that you're looking for, then you'll be at um, at a point where you're able to um, end your blanket. So when you're coming to the end, all you're basically going to do is continue doing your half double crochet until you get to the end of the row, into the end of the chain. Be sure to pick up that last stitch that was in the um, chain two. Okay, and now you're done. You're at the end of the blanket, and now it's time to just tie off your work. So all you would do is, if this was the end of my project and I have my blanket completely finished, I would then just clip the end. So as you can see, there's nothing there. We're done. We're going to just clip the end. And if you're working with the skein of yarn and you're using the end of the yarn to determine when your project is going to end, then there wouldn't really be anything to clip. You would just come to the very end, leaving a small six inch tail or so, and then go ahead at that point and do what we're going to do now. So in this case, I'm going to clip. Okay, so I've clipped the end, and all you're going to do is just pull. I go ahead and wrap it like I'm going to do a crochet and then I just pull all the way through just like that and I just tighten it and as you can see that tightens off your project and it will not come loose so then you'll have your tail in and what I will do is I will take the tail in and just weave it back through my project to ensure that it doesn't come out um, you can use a smaller hook to kind of get the yarn back through the project easier. 
But if you don't have a smaller hook all you're going to basically, you know, as you start washing it and using it, you don't want it to, to come apart. So I'm hoping I'm still in frame, but that's all you're doing. You're just kind of pulling it through. You're looking for some stitches and just look, pulling, wrapping it around and pulling it through. And see how the yarn is working its way back through the project. And this is what I do for any tails. And then once you've come, you, you know, you can either work this all the way through. It's up to you. The more you work it in, you know, it's already been secured. It's already been secured when you tied it here. But if you just want to be doubly sure, you can keep working that through. I don't have an issue with just snapping off the end. And then that's that. You see it's been hidden. And that's how you finish off your project. At the very beginning of your project, you'll also have that chain that you started with. You can do the same thing here. You would just weave it through your project. Once you're done weaving it through the project, then your blanket is complete. And that's, that's it. That's the long and short of how to do a half double crochet blanket. If you have any questions, please be sure to leave a comment below and I'll be happy to assist you.